This episode of NSFW, we recap everything that matters in all of South by Southwest. Plus, we mock Justin Robert Young because he couldn't make it out here. That's coming up on this episode of NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This This is is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 16 for March 16th, 2010. South by Southwest. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I'm going to show, hang on, I, I, I don't know if the Skype screwed up or something. Hang on, I'm going to actually mute this thing here for a bit. I'm gonna, uh, hang on, I'm going to mute this and see if I can actually get a hold of Justin at this point. Uh, John, uh, look, I, I'm going to call Justin, John, and if he shows up, great. Uh, but if he doesn't, I just say we start the freaking show. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit fed up with it. Hang on. Oh, Brett yeah. gets to be the new co-host. That's right. <laughs> is that, oh, is that what it is? Maybe. All right. I'm, I'm actually pissed, to be fair. Like, why on earth would you be like, it's, stop it. You know why I'm pissed. <laughs> I don't know. Is there something you're missing? Something that you wish you could be here for? <laughs> like, you have no, I mean, we've talked, we've teased it forever, first <laughs> off, okay? So I live like an asshole to everybody who's followed me on Twitter or has watched the show yeah, or anything yeah. like that. It's, hey, dude, it's not like you spent a whole day making jokes about how you're packing to go to Austin, about how you made jokes that other people are going to Austin, and about jokes about people who are making jokes about going to Austin. So stupid. I I'm, hope everybody at South by Southwest dies in a fire. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I, I touched I want, a real nerve. I want there to be like, oh, wait. I went to the interactive planning panel. Oh, did you go to the podcasting in the jungle panel? Oh, well, I don't want to miss the everybody packs into a poorly ventilated room and then a fire is lit and the exits are jammed. No, dude, people yeah. were people were excited about the NSFW and South by Southwest. I'm bummed. I mean, I'm I've got I'm, a stake I'm in this bummed. Too. I'm number one bummed. I'm the first bummed ever. I'm like, I'm like pretty bummed. I'm like half, I'm number two bummed. How about that? Look, it doesn't matter. It, it, look, uh, stuff happened the way it happened and it's not like we can go back and change anything, all right? It's never gonna, it's never gonna be like this. Not maybe in some poorly explained sideways universe that we're not sure how it connects to the one that we know and love, maybe there. But not here, friends. Well, guess what? Not we don't here. live in that world. So let's just get back to the world. New show full of when Operation Success. Oh, no. Operation Meat Space. We did it. Here we all are. The time has come, my friend. The time is right. That just happened. The chat room is freaking out, dude. They're freaking out. They cannot understand. Oh, guys, guys, this has been, uh, in every way, the massive success that we completely hoped it to be. Justin, first of all, we no lie, first time ever that the three of us have been in the same room at the same time was this weekend at South by Southwest Interactive. Justin Robert Young, it is good to see you, sir, and Trekker. Well done, my friend. Officially on the record for the NSFW episode, uh, for which we've been kind of uh, you know doing since we got here <laughs> on Friday. Uh, 
Yeah, you, the, the, the cracked voices. That we, the fact that we all sound like uh, uh, currently uh, pubescing teenagers <laughs> uh, will we'll let you know how much fun we've had and how much fun we're going to have tonight because this is like we're going to have a little greatest hits. Yes. We're going to have yes. a little, uh, you know, some of the lessons we've learned. One we're going to apply them pain. tonight. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is, uh, uh, first of all, I guess we should take people kind of over what happened. Uh, uh, we would like to reminisce about kind of some of the things that happened. Where did, where did the adventure begin for you guys? In life? Like, no, no, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> tell glor tell Gloria's birth. Evening. Tell no. me about your birth, sir. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean like, like, what was the first significant moment of the weekend where you're just like, dude, that's so huge? Well, I mean, I think we did, uh, we got here. I got here a day after Odakta and Brett did, but we went pretty much right from the house when I got here to a dinner with, with Jim Louderback. And it was like, all of a sudden, you just kind of got that first sense of like yeah. what South by Southwest is in terms of- Can I tell you something? Let me, I let actually, me rub a little elbows. <laughs> <laughs> I actually totally forgot about the fact that we went and hung out with, uh, with, with Jim yeah, Louderback. Louder, 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 black y'all. No, no, yeah, I did actually. But I, but I was like, no, that, that was pretty epic. We hung out and actually Jim Louderback was, was talking us up and just whips out a flip mino and pulls out two mini microphones that he attaches to like mojitos and then just <laughs> yeah. says, hey, go ahead and uh, do a show. I think your show is very funny. And then literally it was like a, it was like a cold fire came over us yeah. and it was like, and it's go time. And by the way, I mean, again, this is the first time that me, Brad and Brian have been in the same place. And I don't think right. people realize how hard it is to do, and not like, like you know, digging ditches, breaking No, you're saying, yeah, yeah, what you're saying is what we do is more important than astrophysics. Basically. More yes, important yes. than medicine. I, Indeed. I think yeah. equally important to note is that we've been doing this for kind of a long time now. I literally probably talk to you guys more often than anyone else. Wow, period. including Katie and, Mo. Like Katie yeah. and I sit on the couch for uh, an act of and sil silently days. hate each other and willfully ignore each other. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I, well, I was gonna say on the phone, but then that didn't make any sense because we don't ever talk. Is that on the phone. broke asshole still here? Yeah. She thinks <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but it's funny because you develop like this second sense, this second sight, where you just you know when they hand stuff off and makes it makes stuff happen. We met uh, the the head guy of uh, new media for Coca Cola, the, like the the social oh, social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, met, I mean, I'm, all of a sudden I'm, I realize I'm trying to remember all the names of happened. All the bold faced names. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> it gets a little confusing when all you're doing is hobnobbing with the glitter on <laughs> the internet. See, you know what we should have done is shown up like in top hats with monocles and. Canes, and you're like, well, oh, good day, sir. Welcome with the NSFW team. I packed my monocle, but the stupid airline lost it. <laughs> stupid airline. So, all right, so monocle losing ways. First night was a solid base hit. Uh, we got to meet some people, but the significant thing was we all came back home and argued at the top of our lungs, screaming at each other. Uh, well, over, it was it's one over of those, the stupidest well, stuff. But, no, the but, stupidest then again, stuff. but then again, like, it was it was a, a drunken argument that we only wished through all the times that we've been friends and talked to each other that we wished we could have had. Yes. No, and finally, no. now we did have. No joke. That was um, like one of the most awesome points of this entire week was the fact that we could talk to each other without checking our hit list to make sure that we were getting all the points in we needed. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly, exactly. Because that's really distracting and artificial when we have to do that during a show. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Things really ramped up, though, when on the second night, Dig Nation Live, and I actually hear you set this up because I, I got to find it. All right, so here's the deal. Dig Nation Live, obviously, it's at Stubbs Barbecue for the second time. And as um, South by Southwest itself has sort of just ballooned in terms of uh, uh, popularity and registration, so has... The easily the most rock star event of the entire uh, the entire South by Southwest interactive portion, which is Dig Nation Live, huge venue, a venue where, where bands, major bands, play on a regular basis. But Brian is the opening act for Kevin and Alex. Right uh, now, what happens before is as we're loading everything in and we're helping Brian set up his stage show, they come oh, to us and you. say, uh, no. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of this little group, uh, but they're called the U R D. You know, you don't have to. Oh, oh, wait, you're being them. I thought you were saying. I thought you were saying that to the chat. Oh room. no, 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 like, you know, we, we found these crazy kids in, in yellow suits, and uh, we wanted them to come on up on stage and break some world records. You might have heard of them. They've been on Jimmy Fallon. 
And by the way, we're completely hands off in this process, and you have two hours to come up with all the bits that are going to happen. Right, like yeah. literally, and, and keep in mind, I mean, you guys, it's probably no surprise, there's a lot of setup that I have to do to do my stage show. There's a lot of technical stuff, plus the fact that I have to get in the right mindset, it's going to be a huge gig, and plus we're recording it as a scam school episode, there's a lot going on. So it's like when this happens... And I'm just like, uh, fellas, you wanna you wanna see what you come up with? Because like yeah. literally two hours before we go live, they're like, make some stuff up. Why don't you entertain? entertain and yes, the and, I, and I, I, this is in no way any kind of commentary on on revision three because I think it's in general a, a show business or maybe even more specifically the web. Uh, kind of element of entertainment where it's like, hey, we got a gigantic stage where 4,000 people are gonna cram in and have a great time, and we want you to program stuff. And it's like, what should we do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you you seem like someone who's clever. Yeah, you seem like somebody who, who wasn't on the list or doesn't have a show with us. Why don't you just program part of our the biggest event we put on each year? That was the funny part because it's like literally, and I know in their mind, they're like, oh, no, no, Brian's good with that kind of stuff. He can pick up all kinds of interesting things. But meanwhile, it's like they didn't realize I was out of gas. I was out of steam. I had nothing left in my mental ability to put stuff together. So it was just completely, I was just like a uh, co-host. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. But well, and then basically what happens is we come up with uh, some ideas and we wind up doing NSFW live from the stage to the point where in uh, what, the what, ensuing what, press, yes. it was referred to as NSFW being the opening act for Dignation, and we'll, yeah, we'll not Brian Brushwood. We'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll explain what happens. Like This is the end of, by the way, if it looks weird, that's me down there. This is a, a projection on the big screen at Stubbs Barbecue. Let, uh, let me bring out my co-host from NSFW on the Twin Network, Mr. Justin Robert Young, showing some love, people. <laughs> by the way, the you moment... The, 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 they're like, <laughs> who, who, who is that man? <laughs> I don't know him. The moment, and you can kind of see me smiling when I say that because I realize that in our own small virtual way, first of all, I mean, obviously we're working the Revision 3 event and, and I'm there on behalf of Scam School, but the mere fact that I knew getting Justin out there would give me an opportunity to have some good by play back and forth, in some small way I was just like, are we doing an SFW live? <laughs> well, the, the funniest thing for me is that I walk out and Brian does the thing that he does on NSFW, which is um, I have no idea what's going on, and <laughs> it's either I throw to Justin or I just <laughs> shut down the stream. Which in a live context, would be like either I throw to Jury or I'm just going to get in a fetal position until they, they drag me off the stage because I have no idea what to do. You can yeah. actually you can actually hear this. Listen. We're going to bring on stage our favorite world record authority the gentleman from the Universal Records database, headed up by Mr. Dan Rollman. Let's make some noise for all these guys. Get on up here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to break tonight three tech world records. The first one. What did you come up with? What did you like? <laughs> so there we go. That, that, everybody, that's the moment of panic in Brian's brain where he realizes he has no idea what's coming up and how to do it and how to set it up. But he knows that me and Brett I've been talking about it all day, so it's like, and go. Right, and but but what's, fair, what's funny just is... Just because we had been talking about it for the last two hours doesn't mean that we still didn't know what we were going to do about ten minutes before no, he said that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But what's funny is, like, you can hear the exact moment, because your mic wasn't on when you walked out, and then you hear, like, within, I swear, I'm going to bet it's less than two seconds after I hear you say, check, check, and your mic works, <laughs> I am being like, and you're on. And go! <laughs> Like, literally, listen to this. So here, here, here come out the guys with you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to break tonight three tech world records. The first one. What did you come up with? What did you come up with? <laughs> literally, he doesn't make it a sentence. He does not make it a sentence before tossing to me. But you did good, man. Like, you you stood up to the challenge. You kind of have, like, this wild-eyed look in your eyes as, as you're, as you're trying to make it work. Everybody. What's funny, what's funny, it's like, you know, simple statement, you can understand. <laughs> Woo! Slightly weirder statement that's slightly convoluted to make a joke. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, there is only one thing that now, in rewatching that for the first time, I am filled with intense regret about. What's that? And, 
What? <laughs> I didn't say the word proxy. Mistake. <laughs> Therefore, vicariously, yeah. my proxy. Due here, to the fact that my theorem states unequivocally uh, heretofore as, as accepted. Yo, no, what no, is it? Well, and this is like on my bucket list. I want to, I, I want to do a cheap pop. You know, be like, everybody having a great time here at Stubbs Barbecue in Austin, Texas. Oh, Woo! you should. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, you always I did want to do, do that. Money oh, on the no. table. I left. That's all right. Anyway, no, you did fine. You said you're having a good time by proxy, and that's just as <laughs> just as good. Everybody, <laughs> I got a few other things you can do by proxy. That's right. And folks, we're going to lie to the entire world, and we are going to do the world's largest online Twitter hoax at a live event. Yes. So here's. Nobody here knows what's going on. Although, except for some jerks live streaming at Leo. So anyway, yeah, so we, we set up the, uh, well, explain, uh, we don't have to watch this explanation. The short version is we came up with uh, the, and it was a, such an awesome team collaborative effort. I'm yeah. so proud of that, that we came up with the idea of creating the world's largest online Twitter hoax at a live event. And so we, uh, we did the, they're calling it the Kuhan O'Brien Thing that we uh, <laughs> that we pulled. We did. We pulled a Kuhan O'Brien by telling everyone to tweet out that Conan just walked on stage and announced that he's going to be joining Revision Three. Uh, long story short, in uh, three minutes, it was a trending topic on Twitter, which we were talking about. Never in our wildest dreams did we no. ever think on an SFW that we could. Or, or do we ever think when we do stuff like that? Like if we get like you know we get a couple dozen tweets together. It's hilarious and it's awesome and we all have a good time. But like to a trending topic, yeah. uh, dare to taste the same air as Justin Bieber? Right. <laughs> oh. And, and to be as honest as possible, going up on stage saying this, we didn't necessarily expect it to trend. And oh, so, someone, someone in the chat room saying that uh, Leo was a leak for our hoax, but I really don't think so because everybody who was watching on the stream also uh, came in on this scam. That, that know, was the nobody, most surprising thing. Nobody thing. spilled the beans. I, I was convinced that everybody who was at home was going to uh, spill the beans and be like, oh, no, this is totally fake. Nobody believe it. Blah, blah, blah. Brian's a jerk. Uh, but to my very, very happy surprise, everybody at home played along. And I think in a weird way, that gave them the opportunity to feel like they were there with us. And I think that's why, why it actually pulled off. Yeah, now, I'm kind of blown away by how positive overall the response was. No one had said like, hey, who are those douchebags that told everyone that it was Conan O'Brien? They were all like, hey, funny guys on stage, Conan O'Brien. Right. No, right. exactly. Look no. at that. Uh, now, now, real quick, we've talked about this before. If you listen to Twit, me and Brian were on, we talked about it. We were on uh, eat, eat, eat meets, eat meets East, mess. East, <laughs> eat, eat meets East mess with, with meets uh, Robert, uh, Robert Chang and Tomas Marid. Uh, we talked about it a little bit there. But what we have not talked about, even on our after shows, were some of the prototypes of what we were going to do before we came up with OMG Conan. All right, you guys, uh, I want to hear the jam session between you two of exactly what you went through. Oh, my God. It was very long. And and before, we won't go to the, the Blockbuster one that we got shut okay. down well, on. Well, yeah, we talked about the Blockbuster yeah. a couple of days ago. So Here's, let's go through the stuff that we almost made happen before, as a group, we came together and made something even more incredible. The first idea, which was Amtrekker, so I'll let him say it, <laughs> okay. was, was what? We, okay. we were going to have and hundreds of people at once and get into a trending topic on Twitter. What? Uh, oh, okay, just remember, we were brainstorming. <laughs> we were trying to think. There, there are no bad ideas during brainstorms. No bad ideas. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? I maintain, not a terrible idea. It did lead to the eventual it, idea. It was a terrible um, idea. <laughs> just say it, <laughs> Just go, just go. Quit hedging and tell the world that you wanted to tell everyone that the stage had collapsed on Alex Albrecht and Kevin Rose. <laughs> so, yes, what we wanted to do was alert everybody that two of the web's most beloved figures <laughs> on their grandest stage possible had died. You, or yeah. at the no, very no. least... Seriously injured and in need of medical attention. You wanted to, yeah, you wanted to manufacture a tragedy. It was right. a, it's the well, Hindenburg. Well, you wanted a war been a of funny the world. Tragedy. You never know. It may have just been. Oh rubble. yeah, no. It may have just been rubble with Kevin and Alex laughing and toasting in between. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, by the way, some people think that that's better than the Conan idea. I, however, enjoy having a gr job, and so I will disagree. <laughs> okay, but. But we did come up with an alt. You know what? Justin came up with the next great idea. I'll let him tell you. So my rebuttal to that is I say, uh, Brett, let's try to do an idea that doesn't uh, elicit people to call 911 uh, to save their friends on the Internet. Instead, I got a great idea. Let's invent a fake Twitter name 
and say that he got up on stage and vomited all over Alex Albrecht. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the, the fake Twitter name was going to be at Justin R. Young. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it was, we actually, it was like Jack X or, 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 or Bonks. Bonks, Bonks, B-O-N-Q-X. J, J Bonks. J Bonks, that's J -Bonks. it. Oh my J God, I can't believe you guys, ran up on you, guys and you guys had like an elaborate backstory. You already had a Squarespace website up for the guy. Of course, of course. <laughs> he was like, I am on a mission. J Bonks made vomit. bomb bombs on AA. That's right, <laughs> um, that's right. Okay, but look, so the fact is, is it worked, right? I mean, and way beyond what we ever thought, but the problem was we couldn't know that. So at the time, so picture like you have this epic idea and we're like, and everybody, Twitter, and dead silence goes across the air and you realize there's nowhere to go from here. Yeah. So it's like, and Justin? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> and let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Wait, uh, what do we do here? We actually said... All right, so what the hell is the Universal Records database? Uh, so, uh, right, this modifiable is modifiable and breakable. If you just shoot it on video, your friend can be your witness, and you upload it to our site. By awesome. the way, Dan okay, Rollman was ball. such a smart. We're actually going to have a contest, a race between two people, also need two psycho fans who are willing to do anything. Who are my people? Who are you? Yeah, wait, wait, we'll post we'll, the whole thing online. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll, no, we'll, I think we should. Yeah, we'll post that. You guys can watch yeah. the whole thing because it was really, really fun. And uh, Dan from the URDB uh, and everybody else from the URDB is awesome. Yeah. And, and also, Dan is gigantic. Dude, yes. he is monstrously tall. It's like uh, Chewbacca ain't got nothing on Dan Rollman, dude. Right. He's like uh, uh, Andre the Giant's illegitimate oh. and uh, anorexic son. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> skinny as a toothpick, too, though, um, right? All right. So do we want to go to some of the video from the after shows that we did? Uh, yeah, well, let's days? see if we can bring some of that up because we wanted to we wanted to do our best to bring as much of the experience of South by Southwest to you guys since you weren't here. So we actually, every single night, whether it was a good idea or not, we came Many home. times it was a poor idea. <laughs> <laughs> we chose poorly. <laughs> I, so before we did all this, when we were coming up with all these clips, I had to go through all four nights, and <laughs> it literally... It reads like we came into Austin and immediately chugged as much alcohol <laughs> as humanly possible. Which I, and it took four days for it to work out. It was <laughs> just like fall down drunk on day one. Oh my day God. two, slurring very badly. Day three, you could probably convince your dad that you hadn't been drinking. Day four, hey, look, they're even wearing collared shirts. The, the, <laughs> the first time, uh, I mean, unfortunately, we just sort of chopped out some of our favorites. <laughs> it might be a bit uh, ugly to kind of go through these. But uh, first night, we're just so freaking excited to all be in the same room. We're totally pulling this thing right here. Created and here in my freaking house. Let's give it up all the way from the craziest state in the union, Florida. It's none other. <laughs> Mister, it's like it's like the uh, the I, all the pieces are there, but it's so not clicking. We're like we're we're like children who snuck into our dad's studio and are figuring out how the buttons work. We're like I'm saying stuff that's funny and loud because that's what I see my dad doing. <laughs> But we did have, uh, the part that really shocked me was when we actually had guests show up. Oh, ironically, by the way, ironically, the one person stone sober <laughs> the entire time is, uh, is uh, my brother, the butter brother, Jay, Jay indeed, Brushwood. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, 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 just, just one of the shorter clips. Uh, from which one? When, uh, from, like, uh, just go day one and then... <clears throat> yes, um, uh, hold that up. True story, uh, there is this really random ho... <laughs> By the way, that's you, you want to totally invalidate your story. The oh, no, 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 I don't want to hear this say, one. This, this, is is being, this is me being an idiot. No. No. Like two seconds. <laughs> Every episode is an hour. Hey, didn't, didn't, wait, I, 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 did, didn't we actually have a, a conversation today where it's like, hey, we won't constantly interrupt the videos so we can just let them play? <laughs> yeah, but this one is really, really dumb. And it's just me. It's it, it's not even funny. So I want to do something. It was funny. really that's funny. Really Stop it. We, we pulled it out. All right, fine, fine. Here we go. There's this red. Random hoe. <laughs> uh, by the way, that's you, you want to totally invalidate your story the moment it begins and say, true story. This is totally, this is a complete news report. It was a random hoe. <laughs> and I like how you draw humor by repeating exactly what I said with no inflection or difference. <laughs> well, because it was fucking hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was not funny. That's that was not record. funny. Wait, that that no, was. you said right. off the end. The end was the funny part. That, that, was the punchline. Well, what was it? You guys just laughed at me, right? 
Yes. That's that's not. I'm not showing any more of these clips that you guys pulled out, dude. What? That was <laughs> that was. I mean, I do. I do. However, want to show that we actually had. Uh, we actually had Dane actually made it out in studio with us, which I thought was very cool. Here in our studio. Oh, yeah. No. That's it. It's like yes, yes, yes. It's very. We understand why you're here for the south of south this. What we don't understand is why, why, why. I mean, you understand. This is like our principal decides to actually show up and check up our our, our, door, our dorm room. It's like we're just so shocked that you would be in remotely interested in Fantastic. seeing our set. No, this is a great setup here. <laughs> this thing here, I didn't really you know notice. It's sort of like a hermetically sealed bubble. Yes. Like, yes. This, this is far this away is... the nicest spare bedroom I've ever seen. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> hey, we worked very hard to make it not look like a spare bedroom. <laughs> I'll have you know. This is, yeah, this is exciting. It's great to be here. But the boy, oh, what? Really, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, <laughs> by the way uh, one of my favorite things about uh, having Dane Homer. <laughs> hey, sure. Real, real <laughs> quick, real quick. Let's go ahead and pull back the curtain here and just say that we spent how long today pulling out clips? Hours. And never once did we think we should bleep these. <laughs> <laughs> I left you in charge of this. This is like as successful. Oh, stop it. You watched through all of these with us. No, I did not. I yes, was downstairs. I no, was no, downstairs. No, not initially when we were up here uh, before. Well, I was up here to say none of these were funny. But the, uh, uh, look, look, the point is we had a lot of fun with the people there at the time. I think I'm literally sweating underneath the lights all of a sudden. Oh, I am. I know I am. But, uh, uh, man, I, unfortunately, I just, I don't even want to show any of these because I don't know if any of them are good or bad ideas anymore. But we did have, like, uh, we, we had chariot races with, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that this has cursing. In it. I know, I know. That's I why, that's, it, that way it's only fast paced. Uh, that's right. From now on, it's all going to be just chipmunk cursing. As we show our chariot races. <laughs> that's an angry chip. Yeah. He is furious. That's me. That's me trying to talk smack as we uh, as we go on our chariot race at that at that point. But the the, the time that everything just got awesomely nutty was when uh, last night I couldn't believe it. We had Doctor Kiki came uh, and and two thirds of the cast of Buzz Out Loud. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, that was a good shot right there of Justin screaming as we were playing with the bullhorn. Uh, man, it was just just so much fun. Any regrets? Anything you wish you 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 hadn't done? Well, besides not bleeping those clips. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amateur mistake. Uh, uh, always always bleep. I take full responsibility. Uh, yeah, no, there there was a really um a really sad moment uh, last night when we were at the GDGT party. Oh. There were really there were two elements where we <laughs> oh brought the God. NSFW South by Southwest. In a major way, and we did not leave them untouched. Oh, there were a lot more than two, I think. Two major ones. Two major, two moments for that were significant. Two, two big, big winners. One, obviously, OMG Conan. The second was I'm at uh, the GG. The, the, oh my! Apparently, the G I've drank the so GDGT. much. The GDGT. This is this the is a pretty GDGT good party. This is a, a pretty good uh, representation of what we were. <laughs> I, I love how now that we, we realize there's cursing in there that we're just gonna show still frames like <laughs> uh, when, when, when when other networks show uh, highlights of the Olympics. That's and right. They can't run the full video. That's right. <laughs> and that's why, if, if in fact, I wish I just had the Ken Burns effect so I could kind of zoom in <laughs> slowly on, on this. But all right, go ahead and tell the right. uh, the Veronica Belmont story. So uh, obviously, uh, uh, at the GDGT party, Veronica Belmont is kind of first lady, if you will, of GDGT. So she's walking around, mingling, shaking hands with everybody who was nice enough to come out. And she really was working it too. I mean, oh, in the Twitter yeah. stream and everything, she was she was there to work. She was meeting with everyone. She was super Absolutely. approachable, putting herself out there for everyone. So uh, they're demoing a Windows 7 phone, which uh, has been uh, you know, a real big... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to react. The audio people won't know so, what you're right, reacting Brian to. Brian putting going. on a really funny picture that I'm laughing at. Um, so the, the Windows 7 phone is being demoed by somebody at Microsoft. And I put, I, I think, oh, look at me. I'm really smart and funny. I'm going to write on my Twitter stream. Uh, a that, sassy, yeah. a sassy, snarky remark about fair, Windows 7 phone. Really funny, sassy, snarky remark. Well, thank you, Brett. It was, uh, it was apparently very quotable. <laughs> apparently so. I said that the Windows 7 phone is like Lindsay Lohan and Freaky Friday. Pretty and full of promise, but you can see the signs of impending doom. Now, uh, what? there was a gigantic screen in the concert hall 
that said, if you hashtag GDGT Austin, uh, it will show up on that screen. I wrote, I saw it at the GDGT party, and all you, of a sudden... You specifically did not write GDGT specifically Austin. Not, because the screen I speak of is right in front of the Microsoft booth. It's gigantic, gigantic. and you can't help but see it all over the place, right? So, and, and the Microsoft booth, of course, representing one of GDGT's largest sponsors. Indeed, indeed. Right. Uh, so all of a sudden it shows up there, and I'm like, well, well that seems kind of silly. But I put out there, like, I just figure, oh, look, this shows up here. Like, uh, I wonder if people retweet it, if it'll uh, show up there again. And right. then Brian, I, I write the word <laughs> wink, all right? Uh, and then I retweet that, and it's just... No, 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 no. Actually, the funny thing about it is you had the same idea independently. Oh, I didn't know you had you done it. Oh, that's know, so funny. You didn't dude. know that I did it. So all of a sudden, Brian comes up to me and goes like, hey, look what I did. <laughs> I wrote everybody on my Twitter stream, and then I did a winky face. I wonder if you wrote wink. <laughs> Um, and then immediately, in fact, I probably have the picture on my broken iPhone. I did break my iPhone uh, at the Dignation party, and I was so ecstatic about how everything else went that I just was not even phased. I was totally like, whatever, rock and roll. But, like, here, this is, this is the screen filled up entirely with snarky <laughs> comments about from, the Windows 7 from Justin phone. Robert Young. And it's like, and, and, and actually, I didn't really like that because that, that did kind of reflect poorly, and we shouldn't have done that. But... Uh, I wanted to do something innocent and just have a bunch of people tweet a bunch of either or questions. Dude, you're retarded. Dude, no, no. It was in my mind. That it was is, going that to is be a retarded concept. It was. They would have done. They were doing it. That that's like saying like. Well, in my mind, what I was thinking of is if I got wings and got up on the top of my house, I would learn to fly as a bird does. <laughs> but, okay, but the point is, is I trusted the chat room and 99% of the people there came through in flying colors. They made well, cute, what, what'd you adorable. Ask them? I what'd said, you ask I said, them? hey, if you could be very good about your language, then, uh, then go ahead and, uh, you know, do either or. Uh, basically play rapid fire with Justin over the, the live Twitter stream. And for the most part, they were all very, very good. And then one person drew an ASCII. He made what algebraic economists know is not. <laughs> I started to say algebra is instead of math, te math yeah. teacher. Math teachers know yeah. that eight does not equal D, no. no matter how many equals you put in there. Eight equals 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 D. Although, although apparently, not true. Yeah, yeah. it is known to increase confidence. <laughs> <laughs> so one of those shows up, and it, and it shows up at first, and it's just like, bloop, up top. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, well, maybe maybe enough will come that go, they'll go away. It goes, chick, chick, one down. I was like, come on, come on, keep moving, keep moving. And right as right before it goes chick, chick, the third time, I hear, what is that? With now, like now, hold on a minute. Before before you hear that voice, my thought, revisionist history, you should have been all up on that phone just doing blah 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 blah. Look at me, G D G G party Austin. <laughs> oh my god. And just it just it, went eight it, down. It didn't matter because somebody had made the false equation, eight equals 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 D, and then had an arrow to it that says, check out my schwood. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think <laughs> that I was gonna get away with the plausible deniability. No, no, no. I mean I mean just that flooding. Didn't stop you from trying. Oh, you mean I should have been, like, been like is awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been good because <laughs> she'd see the word schwood, she'd see See the wrong equation, and she'd see me happily, the board. <laughs> happily tweeting with Brian Brushman all the time. That's a brilliant plan, Justin. That's why you have me around. That's why you throw to me. <laughs> Remind me never to do that again. So, so anyway, I get busted, and I fold like a paper doll. I'm just like, no, 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 it wasn't me. I mean, I mean, she's like, oh, it wasn't you. It only has your name on it. I was like, no, no, no. I mean, it's like, no, no I told them to be funny, but I told them to be clean. And then this guy, I don't even let, know. Let me. This guy. Oh, let me. In the middle of this. Yes. Let me just explain to everybody listening. Yes. Uh, you've seen Brian wilt into a puddle of apology before on this show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> In person. Yes. It is even funnier. <laughs> oh my god. Even. Even. Funnier. You are so evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, and plus, and I and more sweaty. I confess. Yes. This. Yes. I confess and this. With, with, with tremblier fingers. I know. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh, Miss Belmont, I do apologize. I did not know I thought, he was going, I thought it was going to be nice when I asked him to spam your phone. <laughs> Which is great. What was that? Were that you was doing? the nightingale who represents your shame. That was you warbling. 
I thought you were Eric's making. I, oh my god, you spat on me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing like the most veiled dolphin reference. I had, <laughs> oh my god. I heard. I heard. I heard. I heard. Yeah, the dolphin, yeah but you know who does keep bringing up the dolphin again and again Leo, and Leo again? Right, which, again, by the way, okay. Right, the story, <laughs> anyway, so, we literally had a prep meeting about that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, so basically, long story short, I apologize, and I still apologize uh, to Veronica, please. You know that we would never do anything to intentionally undermine your party. Uh, we think you are the best, and, and we'll be happy to do whatever it takes to make things right with you. Now, let's we'll, talk we'll, about... We'll have her back on the show. We'll have her back. You know what? That's, how, that's, how, we'll make, will come on. that's how we'll make it right for you. <laughs> Tell you what. Why don't we make it right by having you back on our show? We'll be on our best behavior. We, we promise. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, the word wink. <laughs> so freaking, uh, I, wait, I could not understand why Leo keeps bringing up the dolphin. King Leo. King Leo. Well, we got, we got to bow to. We bent the knee to King Leo. No field team. And I want to find footage of that. I was asking about it, and hopefully, uh, Colleen will be able to scrape up that footage. Unless the folks at ODTV, they, that's who we should be talking to. Yeah, ODTV. ODTV. There were we, two we, moments. We need, we need that Fogo de Chao footage. Yeah, the Fogo de Chao was great, and and especially. Especially the part when when we announced that we were going to the Yauza party to support our friend Greg Grunberg, to which Leo said, "I forget." <laughs> he said, "Oh sure, eat my meat then leave." Oh, yes. and we want that sound bite exactly. we need, of we eat, need, my, eat meat my meat then leave. leave. Right, exactly. Uh, so we, uh, but but. He said, eat, eat my eight equals, equals, equals <laughs> D, and then leave. Um, so here's the thing, though, is we couldn't understand why Leo kept bringing up the dolphin, but we found out that apparently our, our brief misstep, <clears throat> yeah. our technical issue. Uh, by, by the way, folks, you might want to go uh, refer to Ask the Internets. Our, our episode, if yes. you uh, want to know what we're talking about. And we learned what you get when you ask the internets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it involved Flipper with a full mouth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we, he was busy asking the inner nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he was asking you. <laughs> you guys are so bad. All right. So let me, uh, Leo keeps bringing it up. And then finally, Lisa, or you, are you, are you complimenting him? You're like, He's you're like, good. you done good, Am Tracker. That was a funny joke. Gold star. <laughs> It's like, why don't, you, why don't you take off his hat and pet him for a little bit? It's like, you did good, boss. All right. So apparently, though, apparently, I, I don't know if it was Tony or one of the editors, loved that scene so much, they passed it all around. The, yeah. the, the, the twit, the yeah, twit Lisa, cottage. At least that twit came up to, came up to me while uh, we were waiting to go on for the live twit show at uh, Texas Coworkers. And she's like, oh, my God. Uh, I just want to say how much you know, we're a fan of the show. I love the show. Uh, the dolphin thing had me laughing so hard. <laughs> Like, like it was like it was like one of those like at the office like oh my you gotta come in and see this. <laughs> it's like look at this guy oh and he is so fired. There we go. <laughs> By the way, I'm detecting that apparently what NSFW show is about is about Brian sweating frequently. Brian? Wimp. <laughs> what? Brian? Yes. Who's Brian. Brian. See well, now now you're gonna mock mock me for for. Mock mock. <laughs> mock mock. Go get a mock. All right all right. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I want, how would you express focus on something? Like, of all the things that are important, there's one that's something important. It starts with an E. Extra? E ether. Ether? Is the ether important? Is that what you'd say? I have no idea. Of all the things is. that are important, there's one that's something important. In Employment. No, 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 no. Like, like, this one is more important than the right, others. Can we, can we get to the end of this? Say the word especially. Especially. You do not say the word especially. No, you you say always say the word especially. Do you, I? Since uh, day I one, you you've... I, I almost made fun of you. But you didn't. I almost... Quick on the draw, kiddies. I, I almost made fun of you six months ago when I first noticed it. And I was like, I'm going to hold that in my back pocket <laughs> until he pulls out something unfair, and then I'm going to drop the E-bomb. <laughs> He was, he was busy saying something especially important. <laughs> especially funny. Especially funny. Last time I noticed it, but I, was, I was like, so close. I had, it on, I had it ready. I was primed. The pump was ready to go. Uh, really? I didn't know there was an X in there. Yeah. It's X specially. It used to be pecially, but it gave it up. Can I, can I, can I ask you guys this? What? What? Is this going as well as you had rehearsed it in your head? Uh, you know what? It is as satisfying <laughs> as I had rehearsed it in my head. You know, I can't wait twice as long. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, by the way, this is where things got. This is this is the downside. Like, at least when we all call in, we're all focused on making a good show. But in person, it's like, you know, it'd be kind of fun. I want to kick you around for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't worry. It's all right. I still loves you. So anyway, give me a beer. <laughs> we got our fair share of kicking in this week. Oh, oh you, no. You, you I, I, would, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know who got kicked the most? Was yeah. oh man, Chad, we were brutal. Well, he's the Chad. lowest man on the totem. Oh, and, and, well, and he he sets up these softballs where where <laughs> where he will he will crumble and then just it just collapse. I, why why are you laughing so hard? Well, OMG, Chad, <laughs> softballs! Oh my god! <laughs> so this is why. <laughs> All right, can we uh, can we can we get back to South by Southwest and talk about what's important? Well, speaking of buzzwords <laughs> and memorable moments for which we'll repeat forever, <laughs> let's talk about the Rothman brothers. Okay, <laughs> do you want to give the briefest overview of where the Rothman brothers originated? Here's from? the thing: we've been at South by Southwest, and I won't get into the origin story. Maybe one day we'll tell it on the show, or we'll tease it forever. Um, <laughs> Uh, me and Brett became the Rothman brothers, and we we started a new viral uh, marketing uh, firm. Yeah, Frodo Baggins he was their first client, actually. Indeed. Yeah, yeah Frodo was, uh, and now uh, what we what we do is at, at uh, Rothman Brothers Viral. Right, and uh, Diego and Scott. That's right. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the two brothers, two brothers. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, we can guarantee one thing for you. Yeah, we will bring you a million, million hits, guaranteed. 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 But in the interest of uh, loving you guys as much as we do, we'd like a little help. Indeed. Here's what we specialize in. We give you the idea that if executed, we'll get the aforementioned million hits. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, Leo Laporte uh, belly flops into a pool of pudding. Um, a million, million hits. hits. Guaranteed. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, this is all midget bowling. That's, That's a million, million hits. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, is this an ad that you guys are imagining for this? Yes, actually, it's more uh, an ad in the line of daytime soap opera uh, lawyers, <laughs> lawyers, lawyers, ads, lawyers, lawyers ad. Yeah. So it's like the idea is like you got these two guys wearing matching suits. They, they were bought at J.C. Penney's, and then they uh, they walk on awkwardly, and they would actually act out these things as they go as they go. Oh yeah, yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> theoretically, we we would have them do it, but right now we're just in the brainstorming phase, and what we need is the chat room. Uh, to help out, or on Twitter, if you just want to hashtag it, Rothman Brothers, yeah. uh, or a million hits. Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, hits. what are the idea? What are the million hits guaranteed viral video stuff? Like, uh, like we had the idea that uh, that that you know, dipping your hand in barbecue sauce and then sauce palming, uh, uh, you know, Kevin Rose. That's a million hits, guaranteed, guaranteed. guaranteed. <laughs> uh, what was what was another one that we had? Um, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, uh, I'm not, no, no, I'm... knocking a sandwich out of the hands of I Justine. <laughs> yeah, that's a million hits, guaranteed, guaranteed. guaranteed. You're looking up at the ceiling, <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know. We, I would like. To, I think this would be only funniest if, if we actually produced it. But you know, since we're splitting up again to different parts of the coast, we'd have you to. Are? Well, well, they're game. They can't. I mean, that's not. Well, uh, you know. Well, I mean, the point is, is what I'm saying, like, we could all shoot We all may be very near each other again in the very near future. What? What do you mean? I don't know. Maybe in late April sometime. Well, we, I'm sure we can't confirm or deny that. No, we can. <laughs> but the point is, is in late April, if we find ourselves in the same city and we happen to be free from 8 until 5 p.m. every day and available to shoot a viral video of the your writing in the chat room, that would be great. The idea is that we would... Uh, uh, unfortunately, we won't have all the people there. So if it relies We're on... We're going to be in a city with a lot of internet people, though. Famous people, yeah. yeah. Maybe we could shoot a lot of those. Maybe we should just say the city. Maybe we should just say the city. If uh, they know the, the, well, the city. Let, let's, just, let's just get as many ideas as possible. We'll right. get closer to it. We'll we, can do it with, we can do it with others. Do, do us a favor. Ideas, and they don't even necessarily have to involve <laughs> internet celebrities. Just tell us what's going to bring <laughs> a million hits. Guaranteed. 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 <laughs> By the way, chat room's already in love with the three with, with, with guaranteed. Oh, you're trying to see the chat yeah. room over there? <clears throat> 
Uh, man, what else do we got? Oh, I guess the only other thing we did a lot of was sneaking into the VIP section at parties. Because I believe none of us even bought a South by Southwest badge. Certainly didn't. Went That's definitely the other area where we brought NSFW to the masses. Yeah, and by the way, can I just go ahead and give a pro tip to yeah. everybody for South by Southwest? Yes, what is it? South by Southwest, don't go to it. <laughs> like, just come to Austin and hang out at all the parties. Because, like, I'm sure people had a lot of fun uh, in, in these, you know, events and everything. But uh, I'll tell you what, the most of the fun stuff on Twitter that people were talking about didn't come from inside a little panel. No. It came from out at the parties. Uh, in in we, fact, we, we, were we were actually trying to break down. We actually, last night when we had uh, Tomas Marit and the Buzz Out Loud crew up, up here, we were asking what were the most epic moments, the best moments of South by Southwest. And across the board, obviously, Leo's crowd surfing was yeah, everybody's huge, number huge. one. Because it was also, it was a synthesis of everything else that happened that night. It was like... how huge that would have been if lots of internet stars had done that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, was, that was one of our other ideas, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, the other idea was to have... Uh, the world the, record. The record broken for most internet celebrities held aloft simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. No, and then it was it was uh, held aloft simultaneously. You couldn't say crowd surfing. You had to say by proxy. <laughs> by proxy. Therefore, by proxy. Uh, and and and, and uh, especially if we could have a dozen or so. <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, VIP parties, like literally. The only VIP party I didn't go to was the, uh, was the, I guess we did do Dignation, but the only one, I was invited to that one. But the, while I was there, Tony Say from, uh, from Zappos gave me this to get on his special VIP bus. Party bus. And we never, we never made it over there because I think, here's a tip, when your party is continuously moving and hard to find, <laughs> it makes it tough to put on my agenda well, to also, make sure that I get there. You, you it's the island. He, he, yeah, exactly. yeah, his part is the island, every, always moving, and you guys just gotta like, oh, I'm suddenly at the party. Every every four hours, he went to the bottom of the bus and turned the donkey wheel, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and uh, it, it was in another place in Austin. Let me just say this, and we talked a little bit about it on the late late show uh, last night with, with Tomas Marit and Dr. Kiki, but uh, I'm not a real big fan of the like, geolocation services like Foursquare and Gowalla. No, uh, who was it that said that they were the echo of the echo of Twitter from three years ago? That was you. You're genius. Especially <laughs> nice there, dude. Thank you. Guaranteed. Thank you. Guaranteed. 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 Uh, but if there's everything that needed a constant geolocation presence, it's a bus that moves constantly. <laughs> And then they had a Twitter where it was like, I don't know, four hours ago, it was down circling an eight-foot radius. <laughs> Eight-mile radius. What am I, an idiot? Eight foot's very tiny. It wasn't been a very small bus. The bus was actually Tony Say on rollerblades with a rickshaw behind him. It was just it was on a platform rotating slowly. <laughs> Oh my God! <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, the, but the good party. The, <laughs> Dave the, says turns on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, other, the one thing that was most memorable about all of the panels had nothing to do with it being good. The one that got the most chatter was uh, Twitter and everyone walking out on it. Yeah, dude. I heard that it was not a good party and that this, the keynote wasn't good. But now this is all hearsay, so don't 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 yeah. take take anything. Out certainly of don't. Listen, certainly uh, don't start the smack talk that Brian <laughs> is just launching at yeah, F. Williams. Yeah, like next episode. It's, I was like, I don't understand. Do you guys still have Twitter accounts? Because I don't seem to have one. <laughs> That's really weird. Twitter down for everyone? No, Brian. Yeah. No. Yeah, down for everyone or just Brian.com. <laughs> but the, uh, uh, yeah, the Twitter one we didn't go to, but we did make it. The stumble upon one was fantastic, and I think it's just because they had really good DJs there, yeah. and we made it into the VIP again. What do you got? Indeed. Real quick, Brian says in the chat room, slapping Tony from Zappos with a converse. That's a million hits. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of slapping. Somebody said, like, Veronica Belmont slapping Schwood. <laughs> There's a million hits guaranteed. Although that's not, I'm not even going. Um, uh, I, I, we're trying not to read the chat room because that's not good uh, Good radio here. Uh, <laughs> man, I, I don't know what else to, what, I guess we should recap some of the other, um, uh, some of the other bits. Oh, we should talk about the OMG Conan thing survived oh, yeah, way, beyond, oh. way beyond, way uh, beyond, like, how far it went. Uh, was way beyond my wildest dreams. This morning, I did a search for OMG Conan, and an article completely in German showed up. Did I? Did oh I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you said it to me. Yeah, it's getting. Uh, and the funniest thing is just watching all the inaccuracies yes. in, in in every and single every single report has it wrong. I also what, found on, what I found really interesting was that not only does every single report have it wrong, but everyone has a different wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're clearly not copying. It's not a game of telephone where it gets corrupted over time as as it keeps on going. Although although I would say, 
Well, oh, yeah. Bonnie says next time do a press release. That's Bonnie, the invisible wife back, yeah. back there. Oh, my God. It's odd just hearing the voices. Like, I don't even know how you deal with it. She's she literally, just... in order to watch the show, she's actually found the only spot that there's not computer equipment laying on. <laughs> and she's actually sitting in the closet watching the show. She is, and she's sitting on a computer. She points out. Thank yeah. you. For uh, that. I, I will say probably CNET has it the most right. Yes. But even then, there's tiny inaccuracies. Tiny inaccuracies. Like, uh, for example, the fact that neither of our names are given in there. Nope. <laughs> is that the one that gave credit to David Prager? Also? No, no. That was the other one. Yeah. There was one that said it was David Prager got on stage and did the OMG chat thing. There, the, the OMG the, Conan the, thing. Uh, yeah. Sorry. OMG <laughs> chat. Here's the hoax. Everyone say OMG Chad joined Revision 3. And it was like, like that would happen. That's not oh. It was laid, oh. it was laid there, right? I, that's not true. Demeaning your assistant. Chad. That's a million hits. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> so the, uh, but like the, uh, uh, yeah, the OMG Conan thing when I did a search, uh, one said it was David Prager's idea. One said it was um, uh, Kevin and Alex. And they actually like painted a picture. They're at, like, from the stage, Kevin and Alex implore their audience to. Yeah, that to was the German one. one. Yeah, the German one. Like, yeah. uh, oh, you did uh, translate through that? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Use the Google Translate. Yeah, that thing, uh, that thing issues nothing but hilarity, no matter what the article is. Well, yeah, and it's like, I'm not going to accuse the person who write it of, of not being able to write pretty language, just not accurate language. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure it didn't mistranslate Brian and Justin into Kevin and Alex. Right. <laughs> Although, I'll tell you, there was one of them, and I forget which one it is, that had uh, a tech writer for the New York Times, Jenny 8 Lee, number 8 Lee, who's been apparently on the Colbert Report and is like a super kind of new media person, was covering South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. uh, she apparently, at least according to this blog post, and I forget who the CNET or which one it was, I think it might have been the All Things Digital. Oh, no, no, it was the San Francisco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah SFG, yeah. yeah. Um, she, like, if you look back at her Twitter stream, it's like, report, Conan joined Revision 3, just walked out on stage. Then, hearing it's a hoax, but how is that possible? How, <laughs> like, how, how could they get so many people to tweet the exact same thing at once? No. She, seriously. I love that. Oh, no. Absolutely. Go back. Oh. Jenny, number eight, Lee. I still um, have not actually dug through the whole thing because they say they say uh, we got the world record for 560 tweets within the, th the three first hours. three hours, yeah. right? But they said there were thousands and thousands afterwards, but they're only counting, you know, the, the, the first ones for everyone who was there, which already is amazing because we had, what, like 3,800 people there, which means we had about 20% of the audience just instantly comply. Yeah. And there's that one video, um, I think it's, it's something Spark who took it. Yeah, David Sparks, uh, you, you'll be able to find it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah. shot from the VIP area. Exactly, but it, it's really cool because it pans out and it's just like, like Brian described it the best, that the thousand points of light of all the smartphones in the darkened <laughs> crowd hoaxing the world at large. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, chat room's pointing out that a, a significant portion of the home audience watching as well surely participated. But I think at most, um, I, I, I don't know what the numbers are for, I would love to know how many people Leo had watching as he went around to all the, all the parties. I, I would guess, you know, a thousand or two. I mean, yeah. at least. My favorite story, though, is last night we had uh, Nicole on. I've yes. Got, uh, a, a real TV uh, producer. Molatini. Molatini, yeah. Real and producer. And she has previously worked for Showtime. HBO and uh, no, Martha no, Stewart on no, the media, it was right? AOL, it AOL, was AOL uh, no HBO and Martha Stewart. You guys, you guys didn't uh, cut out that uh, clip, did you? Because she told that story really well. Uh, yeah, we cut it out you major, did, in you, a major way. Yeah, we you, totally. You, you did cut it out. Oh no, no, we didn't. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you don't no, have cut, it here. Cut it out as in it's not. Okay, there. Yeah, okay, got it, got it. Uh, um, but, no, no, what, know, what did she so say? She worked for those three uh, huge media major companies, media companies. and uh, in that first hour, got phone calls from representatives of all three. Yeah, Martha Stewart Living, um, uh, like like CBS. Well, AOL, AOL, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like, what the heck is going on? Is this true? Is this amazing? Like we. That's kind of cool, dude. We, 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 Ryan, Ryan Vance, right? Ryan Vance got calls like on while well, he was like on the wings of the stage, right? When people were like, "Oh, you pulled it off! The coup of the century! Congratulations, <laughs> boyo! Ryan, Ryan Your Vance. career's made on this." Yeah, and of course, Ryan Vance is the uh, head of programming at Revision Three. So, um, for those of you that don't know, yeah, 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 vice president, a VP of uh, programming at Rev Three. Uh, by the way, we also got. Uh, I like the way it morphed over ta time. By the way, I don't know why everyone is telling us to drink. Literally, every single one of them is telling us to drink. Huh. <clears throat> I don't know why. That's very well. You know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and drink. Oh, my God. I have to talk while everyone else does all the fun stuff? This yeah, I guess this is the reverse. I mean, if we're going to ask everyone Listen, to tweet on I, our behalf. Yeah. to me, and I lost to you. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, I suppose that's a fair way to deal with that, then. 
<laughs> so I don't know what to do. I better drink. Yeah. Here's the mic. That's Go. Right. Make that's funny. Right. Amtrekker. <clears throat> I don't know if uh, if that's if that's a statement on how graggly our voices now are. I mean, all three of us have totally trashed. Oh, it's wrecked. It's absolutely wrecked. And I got to go leave here and and, and cover uh, a magic convention in San Diego, Magic Con. If anybody's going to Magic Con, I'll see you there. Wow, are you really? Uh, you, you don't got to make you sound. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm serious. Oh, you just. Uh, I just. I mean, like, I don't want to be like Mr. Plug. Oh, Mr. Okay, like, all right. Like, all right. anyway, Magic Con. Okay, so, go, no, go. I'm like with disdain, just to stay cool. Right. So right. I roll. <laughs> That's right. Are you kidding? Have you ever had me before? <laughs> he starts his podcast, his magic podcast, like, hello, losers. <laughs> well, well. R Rolling, Rolling the dice. dice. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, no, no. Actually, it's gonna be awesome. Man. David Blaine's gonna be there. It's gonna be a bunch of. Like, no, are you yeah. gonna get to interview David Blaine? Uh, yeah. No. You know, he's on our hit list of people that we want to have on NSFW. Maybe, maybe we'll get, have to do a little, uh, little, little cross pollination. There we go. Week. You're like, you're like, and, and I can totally see you trying to big time David Blaine. You're like, you know, David, we've done some publicity of our own. Mm. Have you heard of a little thing called OMG Conan? And he's like, um, uh, what? I, I, I don't... had this heroin thing going on the other day. <laughs> what the heck? I had a dream about what? heroin. <laughs> <laughs> so, at any rate... Strikes me as that kind of guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell, Brad? What? What the what? <laughs> to bust out of bed. <laughs> That's like especially weird. <laughs> And by the way, now the chat room is all just dance, fools dance. <laughs> and yeah, don't get us wrong. We are not above jumping up and dancing for your amusement. By the way, why, why is the chat room right now our, our abusive older boyfriend? Do, no, do you know like, why? Drink, dance. You, you know what it is, is they've had a taste of power because we gave, we did the, the OMG Kona thing. And now it's like, well, reciprocation. We command you too, sir. <laughs> uh, anyway... Uh, so what else? I don't know what else there is. I mean, that's, I think we really hit the main, uh, just about everything. Uh, Do we want to hear if anybody, uh, if you want to take any calls or anything? We're pretty much at the end of I the don't episode. Mind. I right? don't mind doing that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, one thing I would like to start doing from time to time is actually answering letters, uh, specific letters. Uh, if, if, if they're, if they're get good. Your letters. <laughs> that's right. Although, although as long as they don't involve the Dominican Republic, because then Justin just makes me feel small. No. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying this. Mm. I'm just saying. This just in, Brian Brushwood is butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, uh, I like that now you can see me playing the world's tiniest <laughs> yeah, violin. Thank you. Now there is one thing that I want to, that I want to do is uh, share a very special clip that we have. There is one thing that we uh, and uh, we should we should wrap up the plugs beforehand. Uh, we also did uh, the Pi Day Magic thing the other day, if you want to follow along that with that. That went really well, and, and can we break now that it's going to go on forever and ever and ever? As long as I'm physically able, we'll be doing the Pi Day Magic trick. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, just type in Pi Day Magic in Google, and you'll learn how to... Literally, you could do a trick, and I could direct message you and read your mind using a simple math uh, trick. And we're actually, number one, going to teach how the trick works on Scam School in an upcoming episode, which we're very excited about. Uh, and second of all... Uh, we are going to do it as long as we can. Even though Pi Day was like a week ago, <laughs> why? It's you can you cannot you cannot laugh. You can They're choose. They're too good. I know, but you cannot watch them. It's like if you know that the chat is just going to make you giggle. They're splintering in their demand. <laughs> they no longer have a unified front. I'm saying, pay to say, pray to Satan, say <laughs> hi to Florida, <laughs> puke Gatorade, Gatorade rainbows. <laughs> That's a million hits, guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to keep doing the Pi Day Magic thing as long as I am possibly able to do. Which, by the way, you have like a couple of blockbuster episodes of Scam School. If there was ever a time to subscribe to Scam School on iTunes or, or watch it on Revision 3, it's now between the you know, South by Southwest Live yep, yep. and the Pi Day Magic Explanation episode. That yep, should yep. be gigantic. Nope, that's correct. I that's might correct. actually watch it. Yep. Oh, well, finally, for once, you're gonna make that happen. I hope you're gonna do something interesting. All right. So, but but let's do this real quick. We'll do plugs, and then we'll show a never before seen clip. We're going to violate one of our sacred tenets yep. of, of uh, NSFW, and it only worked for the video people. But real quick, I'm at Schwood. You can see me on ScamSchool.tv. <laughs> Twenty six tacos. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's a lot of cupcakes. Uh, no, uh, go ahead. Thirty. Oh, here we go. Uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. And if you're into magic, uh, I'm going to be taking my best cues from the man, the Pope of South by Southwest, King Leo Laporte. And I'm going to be live streaming as much as possible from my iPhone. Uh, so if you're into magic, 
head on over to iTricks, check that out. Of course, weirdthings.com and justnaryoung.com, and I'll let you everything. I'll let you know what's going on. Yeah, and and Brett, what do you got to plug? Oh, the, the greatest big new adventure, the greatest employee in the world.com. Yes, greatest employee in the world.com is uh, the oh, awesome new adventure. Just start saying, get a job, get a job. <laughs> yeah, get a job. <laughs> I'm trying. By the way, can I say one thing? Like the stuff the chat room is saying, it's all in all caps. And some of it is absolutely horrific. <laughs> and it's coming so fast that literally I thought, oh, I get it. We did the OMG Conan thing. So now 4chan is attacking us. <laughs> and, then, and then I looked and I'm like, no, I, I recognize, recognize those all names. those names. <laughs> and I realized that our own crowd hates us. So what were you saying? Uh, Grace and in the world.com. Yeah, or uh, <laughs> GITW.com. We'll redirect there. So the same, uh, the same goes for Twitter. At G E I T W, and of course, Amtrekker. I'm always there. So uh, check me out. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you my far and away favorite part is that we got special footage where we actually made completely visible, not as a joke, not nope. as a gag, yeah. not as a now you see it, now you don't, not as a bar blocking the face or anything like that, but we full on showed Bonnie the Invisible Wife who got along famously with, with Dr. Kiki. I, oh Dr. My God, Kiki I can't Sanitize. believe we actually got this entire episode without talking about like our new our, our like, new our new BFF. BFF. Yeah, dude, we are Dr. in love Kiki. with Dr. Kiki. She, awesome. she knows how to party. She is a blast to be around. She's Mouse. Um, Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. By the way, everybody, buy stock in uh, Donkey Hammer and check this out. We have footage okay, of... That, that IPO is hot, son. <laughs> this is no lie, no messing around, real footage of Bonnie, the invisible wife, That's showing nice. her face. Uh, Tom and his lovely wife, Eileen, leave us, First, oh, oh, let me tell you, this is also, this is also, like, Bonnie knows that I know all these people, but, but it's always in a different city. Like, in our own town. This is the first time you guys got to meet Bonnie. Yeah, right. Awesome. It was awesome. Bonnie is I in love. love. Bonnie. Bonnie is in love with... Hang on, let's get Bonnie. Bonnie! Bonnie! Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you, for the first time, visibly, starting guard from Duke in live studio at the most epic late night South by Southwest meetup. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Bonnie! Bonnie! Why are you in the shopping cart? No, because it would be awesome, because we'd be there, you know? But you know what? It's not going to happen, so I don't understand why you're wasting the time. Can we just... All right, all right, fine. I'm done bitching. Let's just get to the show. You ready? Come yeah, let's Look, start I don't it. want... I mean, we're already live now. I don't, want it, I don't want it to be... Let's go! Why are we waiting for it? All right, fine. I say, right. let's bring it. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's go. This is it, dude. The BB Live Show. We are now live with the greatest achievements. The greatest thing to happen to America. And he's over these rocking it already. It's Mr. Justin Robert Young. How you doing there, buddy? New champion. Woo! See you next Tuesday, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will do a bit of an after show later on. I'm going to go ahead and save this right now, but you guys are freaking awesome. I hope you had a good time, man. Take care, guys. Go, Jerry. Go. <laughs> In this episode of NSFW, we recap South by Southwest, all the misadventures we got into, and invent even more new memes for you to go with. That's all coming up on NSFW.